Good morning. Good morning. Please state your name for the record. Daniel Fennell. Thank you. Mr. Fennell, you are a serial modifier with a string of souped-up motors to your name. The purpose of this hearing is to determine exactly what would happen if you were let loose with an innocent car and a pot full of cash. Could you be trusted? Apparently he couldn't, and there's the evidence. Only Sam. Sammy. I've always had a love for Renault Fives and hot hatches and the sunny GTI R Nissan Pulsar. It's just a natural progression for me. It's amazing the difference 25 grand makes. How much? The car is only 25,000. Uh, that includes buying the car for 9,000 uh, pounds. The seats and the interior modifications, including the electronic boost gauge and the electronic fuel controller, they probably cost around uh, 1,500. And now I've spent between 13 and 15,000 on the engine itself. That includes the turbo, which was 2,000. Pistons, the uprated forged pistons, they are about a thousand. A gasket was 200 uprated. The exhaust system was 200. The dump valve was 200. Uh, basically, this is endless. Now, that money that you've spent on it, do you think you will ever get it back? No, unfortunately, when modifying cars, you never get your money back, but it's the feeling and the thought that you've done it yourself. Uh, it's not someone else's car. Yeah, you will lose money on it, but it's to me, it's, it's priceless. The GTIR in standard trim comes with 220 bhp, already enough to make Clio 172s and Civic Type R's feel as though they're tied to a tree. But a bit of judicial winding on with the turbo boost puts 280 bhp in reach. If you're not happy with that, some extra fine tuning will see 300. But Danny's got 400. It's awesome. It blows the socks off of most Porsches, Ferraris, and most things on the road, really. It uh, handles very good. It picks up through the gears uh, tremendous, and it's uh, top-end power is superb. Wouldn't it be interesting to put Danny's Nissan on a dyno to see exactly how much power it produced? Yes, it would. But wouldn't it be more interesting to race it against this? A real mean mother of a car, the 8-litre V10 Chrysler Viper. Like the saying goes, there ain't no replacement for displacement. 60 takes just four and a half seconds, and it will be driven by me. Thumbs up, Danny. Please don't tell anyone. Uh, best of three, Danny, obviously.